What's up everyone and welcome back to Pokemon Platinum. We got a ton of stuff to do today including a gym, a rival battle, and also a couple of team updates so let's get right on to it. There's actually a few things that I want to do before we even head to the gym. First of all, it is looking for a hidden item that is actually around here because I'm actually going to need it and I totally haven't been looking for hidden items. I probably should have been looking for them but it's actually going to be right around there it is oh no that's not it you piece of poop ah whoa there's a ton of hidden items here there's actually one right here and it's another freaking pearl oh okay there it is that's the item i was looking for and now that we got that let's head back to pistoria and now we head back to pistoria city where i'm actually going to do some more looking around for hidden items but this time around we're going to look for one which is actually up here in Route 212, you want to try to avoid the deep areas so that you don't fall in the stupid marsh or whatever it is. And there's another item somewhere around here, but not exactly... Oh, okay, so it is like literally right here. There we go, a dumb stone! There's actually a couple of other hidden items in here as well, so let me check what they is. There's an Ultra Ball. And a Hyper Potion. Good stuff. And now we're going to head back into Pastoria City to calm down for a second here. There's a few things that I want to do. And first off is show off a little bit of a team update here. You may notice I've actually nicknamed Hippopotas to Quaker. Thanks to the nickname suggestion by Lightning Strike 147 I probably didn't get the numbers right. But next up we're actually going to be using the Dawnstone that we just acquired. If I can just scroll all the way down here. And we're going to use it on Wuju. What? Wuju's evolving? No way! Took us a long ass time, but for all those people that keep on saying why I'm not evolving Curlia, well, this is why. This is why I'm hot. There we go, we got ourselves a Gallade. Took a little while to actually get it, but it is definitely worthwhile because Gallade is absolutely amazing. And finally, to all those people that said that I should have waited until level 30 or should have evolved Curlia at level 30, here it is, here is what I, I just got, the hard scale, we're gonna go ahead and go into Wuju here, and yes, Wuju did learn Psycho Cut at level 31, but look at that, it's right there, we can just learn it again. I know that it probably would have saved me a hard scale, but I honestly don't mind that much, because we can just get it right here, let's delete confusion and, poof, we get Psycho Cut. Now you may notice I actually do have two hard scales rather than one, so we're gonna go ahead and talk to this guy again. Go on Wuju again, and look at that, he can learn Leaf Blade too. So two moves that are awesome, and I can just learn him like that. So Magical Leaf, see you later. If you guys don't know, Gallade is a lot more like physical attack than special attack, so that's why I'm doing all this. And there we go, we got two awesome moves for nothing, basically a heart scale. And now, we can finally head on to the gym. I know I just said nothing and it was actually costing me a heart scale, but you know what, whatever. Heart scale's really not that big a deal for me, because there's like 20 in the game, and I really don't plan on using that many more, so <laughs> I'm not always going to plow into you every time we meet. So how's it going, Orange? Buffing up your Pokemon, eh? I'll test you and your Pokemon out and see how buff and tough they are. Oh, you're cute, man. You're like rhyming for me and stuff. That's that's awesome of you. Arse. Totally forgot I even nicknamed you that. Am I always gonna forget what I nicknamed him? I don't. You know what? Just screw it. Yeah, there we go. Now we got the G for Gallade because it's awesome. And the stupid thing is, this Staravia actually has Intimidate, so it cuts our attack in half, which is dumb because we have an awesome attack stat, but now it's just going to be ruined because of this stupid Staravia's um, Intimidate. So, whatever, I guess we're just going to have to go for Psycho Cut, and because our attack is halved, we actually do half the damage, so it kind of sucks. It, it really sucks, actually. Oh, look at that. It's super effective. Are you kidding me? I'm not... You know what? I don't want to deal with you, Staravia, so take that. Take an Empoleon Bubble Beam to the face. Oh yeah, yeah. How do you like them apples, man? How do you like the apples where I kill you? Those are the apples I love. So Quaker gets some experience, and next up is gonna be Grottle. So, guess what, guys? A few people actually told me, or actually one person told me, but a lot of people thumbs it up. You should teach Cool Whip Aerial Ace. But guess what? Cool Whip can't learn Aerial Ace. So, instead we went for this. Fly up into the air, buddy. Which uh, does take another move to actually use, but in the end I think it's a little bit more worth it. Does a little bit more damage than Aerial Ace. I mean, sure, Aerial Ace never misses, but I prefer the power on it. Because no one man could have all that power. I think 
Aerialist is actually, is it a special move? So that's that could be an advantage actually that it is like a special move because uh, Cool Whip is obviously a lot more physical oriented. Or sorry, special oriented. Wow. A lot of people have probably commented about that already in like the second that I made the mistake. But either way, another new move on Cool Whip that I can't even, oh yeah, I can use it. Okay. I thought this thing was half ground type, but I guess I'm wrong once again. It's Shockwave. So thank you to all those people that suggested that I teach him Shockwave. It is actually going to come in very helpful in this upcoming gym considering it is a water type gym. So thank you to you all you guys once again for all the awesome suggestions and such. That is why I am awesome or that is why I can make my videos the best I can. It's because I actually don't know that much about Pokemon. You guys help me out. <laughs> I know I'm sounding like a really sarcastic right now but that's because this is... I don't even know. There were so many suggestions last episode. Half of them were real and half of them didn't even work out. So, whatever. We finally got this done. I don't even know. Um, I am actually really excited right now and I don't know if it's showing. I really don't. But, we are actually, or like, and by we I mean like, the crew. I don't even know. Like, we haven't even announced it as being the crew officially. But basically, ever since we started doing these, like, Minecraft Hunger Games kind of things, that I don't know if you guys have been watching them, but ever since we started doing them, wow, this is going to kill me. Screw you, Ponyta, being the same level as I am. And Wooju still dies all the time, even though he's now a, an awesome Gallade. Oh, well. I guess we're going to have to go bubble beam it up. But uh, the crew, basically, if you guys ever watched King Boo's crew, um, it's it, it's got, like, a... I don't know, we're, we're like redoing it basically and this time I'm part of it and I'm really excited because we're actually working on like a big project right now and it's going to be revealed soon guys so really it's Minecraft related and you guys are going to get to be part of it so I'm actually really 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 excited for that. I don't know if it's showing, I'm, I'm like even maybe being like sounding cocky in these videos it's just because I'm actually really excited for it, I don't even know but I'm going to go heal up real quick. Alright, so time to calm him down a little bit and actually focus on the matter at hand, and that is this Pokemon Gym. This video is probably going to be super freaking long, because I gotta, I don't know, I had to do a rival battle, had to do all that stuff in the beginning, and had to, uh, I gotta edit in the sidebars too. Wow, I just realized that. Oh well. Guess it's going to take a little bit to do, but I am recording this one kind of live, or as live as live can get. Oh, dude, I forgot the most important move on this guy. Oh, man. Oh well, guess we're gonna have to do that now, considering this guy only had one Pokemon. So, we gotta go into our... This thing. And... Drain Punch! There it is. Drain Punch is absolutely amazing. I love it so much. And Wuju is amazing with it. So, I don't even know why I have this Tropius in my party, but... It's gonna be gone as soon as I get the chance. Psychic, even though it was a good move, not really that great on Wuju, because now that he's a Gallade, he's all about physical attacks. So, Drain Punch, way better. And because I am half, uh fighting type then you know we also get that type advantage so here in this gym you may notice quite a change in the puzzle or at least I I don't even remember what the diamond and pearl puzzle was cuz honestly I played diamond and pearl like once and then after platinum came out it's just been straight up platinum cuz it's so much better at least in my opinion platinum just improves so much on the game and I've never gone back to diamond and pearl I don't even remember what the puzzle used to be but I know it was different from this one so let me actually, oh wow, I think I did that wrong. Yeah, we gotta rise the, sorry, raise the water level and actually go across right here. And we got a Sailor Man. Not not a Sailor Moon, just a Sailor Man. So, I've been around the world going from place to place training Pokemon. It's this gym I've chosen to make my home. You bet it, I'm so tough, man. Because I live with the Crasher Wake and we are butt buddies and we like sleep together and what am I even talking about now? Oh yeah, Psycho Cutting. Psycho Cutting these things. Pelippers, whatever they are. Oh wow, this actually doesn't do that much damage. But Leaf Blade does, thankfully, so there you go. See you later, cop. He actually said something about copping out or something, so that's why I even said cop. I, I don't even know what he actually said, though. But here's another little girl who apparently likes to live in a gym with big, strong sailors and wrestlers. And by wrestler, I mean Crasher Wake, obviously. But that's weird. Do people actually live in this gym? Like, that guy at, like... That guy just straight up told us, like, I've made this gym my home. Like, does he sleep here? What? It's just weird. Why would you, like, sleep here with these little girls and wrestling guy probably thought, you know what, let's not talk about it. Let's not talk about the fact there's probably a showering room in here, like a locker room with showers, and you don't want to drop the soap in there, buddy, because Crasher Wake, Crasher Wake is gonna, he's gonna bring up a tidal wave up, up towards your butt or something. What am I talking about right now? 
Oh yeah, payback. Payback for Wuju there. So, Shockwave away the Gyarados. This is why I got Shockwave. Actually, people suggested it specifically for Crash or Wake's Gyarados because I had a super duper freaking hard time with it when I did my Hound Hour solo run. So, I guess people actually care for me and they said that I should get Shockwave because they know that was a pain in the butt. It was really, really difficult to do. So, thank you guys for all the suggestions once again. You're an awesome. Like, I don't know. I... <laughs> I'm super excited for everything that has been going on. The giveaway, this new project that we're working on, it's all basically because you guys are amazing, like an amazing fan base. I don't know. But, uh, I don't know. I'm just really excited for everything, basically. Uh, but we're actually almost coming up to the end of this gym here, and I actually have to go heal up before we take on Crash or Wake. And there's a stupid alarm going off because of the church that's like in the back of my house, and they're always, they always have that stupid alarm going off. Uh, Sand Tomb? Nope, I've got Earthquake on him, so, you know what, let's give up on Sand Tomb, Sand, Sand Tomb, whatever. Shockwave away the Golduck, because it never misses, even though we're confused and it can still get hurt in confusion, but... Hey, look at that, snap out of that confusion and kill you, buddy. Simon the Sailor Man. Okay, so we're gonna rise up the water level once again, there's no more trainers here, so we just walk up to Crash Awake and walk right past him. See you later, dude, I'm gonna go heal up. Cause, uh, cause I'm not gonna fight you when all my Pokemon are like half dead. See you soon, buddy. So we gotta do this stupid puzzle all over again. This actually just gives me a second to like calm down and just talk about kind of important things right now. So a lot of you have been asking about Munchcraft, and yes, I know I haven't uploaded it in a long ass time. Um, I just want to apologize. I haven't really been in the mood to record solo Minecraft in a bit. Uh, it's not that I've lost interest in it. I really, really love the mine, like the Munchcraft world. I love the um, the extra biomes mod, Mo Creatures. It is awesome. But just haven't really felt like playing single player Minecraft recently. But now that school is actually over for me, well, not technically over. I have to, still have to go back tomorrow and do portfolio. But after that, school will basically be over for me. So I'll have a ton of time to record um, every if like I want to do daily uploads. Like I, I haven't been consistent with daily uploads recently but now that school is over and we've got the summer I will be able to be a lot more consistent so let me actually save real quick all right welcome I don't get challenged very often the glory you are now beholding is the pastoria gym leader that's right I'm crash awake my Pokemon were toughened up by storm of wet waters they'll take everything they can throw at them then pull you under victor will be ours come on let's get it done let's go up against crash awake Alright, I don't know why the the little versus screen there just said wake. What is he doing? He's like flexing his muscles or some shit. I don't know. Anyway, I put up Cool Whip in the first position because I knew Gyarados was coming up first. And your Intimidate does not do anything. Oh, no! No, I misclicked. Oh, that sucks. I think this thing has like Crunch or something. That sucks. Oh, it has Bite. Okay. Uh, but... As always, you guys can take a look at the sidebars there. You can see what moves these things have. And I totally misclicked. I probably could have taken this thing out and, like, by this turn. But misclicking, you know, it happens. It sucks, but it happens. So let's go for a Shockwave now. And that's probably not going to kill it. Nope. He's going to have to Hyper Potion that thing up. And that will actually give me a chance to Hyper Potion as well, unless he gets, like, a crit. Oh, man. That is close. That is a close call. So let's see. Do I have any... Hi I have one Hyper Potion. Okay, that's good. So I should actually buy a ton more Hyper Potions considering my Pokemon are actually pretty high level now. And it's going to be quite a tough time. Let's just speed this up because I know he's going to Hyper Potion too. Damn it, I keep going into the wrong menus. Shockwave and Bite. Oh my gosh, I know I'm faster. Yes, Shockwave can't miss. So there we go, Gyarados. GG, buddy. You tried your best, but in the end it didn't even matter. Because this isn't a Hound Hour solo run anymore, baby. This is Cool Whip. And we're ready for you. Alright. Level 36 Cool Whip. Quite nice. And next up, we're going to have Float Soul. Cool stuff. Let's actually try out Wuju now, considering he hasn't really gotten any action in like a gym yet, has he? I think we actually did try to use him in Maylene's gym, but oh wow. Is that going to be... That's going to be neutral effective, isn't it? Yeah, it is. But it does lower my defense, so... Unfortunately for us, this means that next turn he could actually kill us, considering our defense was lowered by so much. Wow, these things are high level, I just realized. What the hell is going on? Did I, like, miss some training or something? Or, like, a route or something? Because these things are way too high level to just be, like, normal shit. Is this going to kill me? Okay, no. Good. 
I thought it might kill me because he gets the stab boost, still neutral effective, and he lowered my defense, but I guess not, because Wuju is just awesome like that. See you later, Float Soul, buddy old pal. Does this guy have one more Pokemon or two more? Quagsire. Okay, I can kill this thing with Leaf Blade, but I don't know. Oh, wow, this is actually his last Pokemon already. I'm not sure that I can one-hit kill it, but let's hope that we can. If not, Wuju's pretty much dead, but I know that Quagsire is slow as crap because it's half ground type. It's kind of just like a little... Looks like Quagsire looks a lot like Ditto, I just realized. Ooh, nice job, Wuju. Taking him out in a one-hit KO. Awesome sauce. See you later, Crash Awake. Oh, and Quaker actually greens a level as well, so that's good. Hua! It's gone and ended. How will I say this? I want more. I wanted more from you, Shane. I wanted you to drop the soap, and I wanted to put my tsunami in your what? Seems the undertow pulled me under, but I had a great time battling with you. You've earned this. Yeah. You need that Fen Badge to use the hidden move Surf outside of battle. This is a special reward for me in recognition of your team's power. And that is most likely going to be, I don't even know, not even going to guess, Brian. Okay, cool. Don't care because Brian kind of sucks. <laughs> we can use Surf on Empoleon though and it would be a pretty good move. It would be better than Bulb Beam and Aqua Jet. Aqua Jet just sucks on Empoleon because it's like a special attacker. But let's head out of the gym. And that is actually going to be it for this episode. We actually have, whoa, how you doing? Hey, you got the badge, huh? How you doing, uh, Mr. Wake? I mean, the master. It's pretty awesome. Speaking of the devil. Hey, little boy, I just screwed. What's this racket then? Oh, it's you too. Oh, master. Please penetrate me again. Listen, kid, I know your father, but I don't recall ever taking you on as an apprentice. Not in the least. Besides, you two don't need me. You can be trumped strong on your own without me being or something, something apprentice. Forget that, there's trouble brewing. That's a Team Galactic goon in front of the Observer- Were you kidding me? A bomb? What? Team Galactic or terrorists? What? I didn't think they would go that low as to just use a bomb. I mean, they're Team Galactic. Do something more awesome than just a bomb. Anyway, that's going to be it for this episode, guys. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed the video, thumbs up. See you guys later.